I did want this piece in here in the first place, but I was too tired to paint it. Today is my first day to decorate for fall in 2023, and it is a thrifted decorate with me. I'm going to be explaining as I take you guys along today. I have a new piece of furniture in the entryway. Well, it's thrifted new to me. I have a DIY. We go outside and get some foliage to bring it inside. It is a full video all about autumn, all about fall. I'm just going to take you guys along for the next two days during this video and share with you all the fun details in this entryway. Come here. Smokey's crying. I first want to tell you that this video is in collaboration with my sweet friend, Valerie Keim. She is a lovely, lovely person. She has two beautiful boys and her home is full of lovely ideas and inspiration for your own home. You're going to absolutely love her channel. I love her sweet, genuine spirit. I have watched her videos for the last three years, I believe, and I watch everyone she puts out. I'm just so happy she was willing to collaborate with me. Go check her channel out. You really will love her relaxing vlogs she puts out. And let's get on with this thrift haul. I went to my sister's yard sale early in the morning in my robe. Nobody was there. Hopefully I escaped with nobody seeing me there. I picked up a couple thrifted items to put in the new entryway makeover. I love the entryway makeover more than I did the first time. I love this new piece of furniture that I'm putting in here that I'm going to share with you. I believe the whole haul was $10, so just keep that in mind. This beautiful cottagey basket with the lovely handles. I love this. It has a flat top, so you could take it down top if you wanted to. I'm going to use it very simply, just how it is. I forgot. This is the only thing I purchased new for fall, and I'm going to explain that later in the video as well. I purchased this little tiny squirrel or chipmunk at Home Goods for $6.99. I purchased one for my sister Carrie for her birthday because her birthday's in September. I got this beautiful little candle snuffer from my sister's yard sale. It's itty bitty. I love it. I got these beautiful white quail for fall. I love the white neutral and they're so fall, but yeah, white and neutral. Very happy with this purchase. I got this at my sister's yard sale and I think it's so pretty. I might add some rub and buff to this to make it just kind of zing up a bit, stand out a little bit. This beautiful picture, which I'm gonna do an overlay on. I showed you the frame last week that we purchased for a dollar or 50 cents. I can't remember, I think it was a dollar. But Vivian painted me this beautiful, beautiful picture. Her talent really amazes me. I showed her a picture, I said, paint this for me. And she literally nailed it. So this is going in the entryway, kind of new makeover for fall. I love, love it. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go ahead and just get right on into this video. I will explain as we go along. I am needing some paint to paint a bookshelf for the entryway. I thrifted this bookshelf for 10 or $15 and I have held onto it for about two years and now I am finally using it. paint this a really pretty creamy white by Benjamin Moore called Feather Down. You can see the difference between the white that was on it. The white was not working in the entryway. It was way too white. This is a eggshell and it's just a really creamy white. You can tell right here the difference how it's just a softer creamy white and then this is just the white. There is a hole right there but once it's painted and decorated, you really can't tell. It's adorable other than that one flaw. Thank you. 
It's very early in the morning and I am up and the girls are still sleeping, of course. In the middle of doing this kind of a makeover in this entryway, putting a piece of furniture that I wanted in here in the first place, I have these thrifted, beautiful horse head bookends. Oops. I believe they were like $5 or $6. Very inexpensive. It does have a chip on one of the bookends. This turns out I wanted just to spray paint them out because it would be so quick but I didn't have any so we have to hand paint these and let's hope it turns out with what I'm seeing in my head I'm not sure if you can see me I do have one horse head painted black I think they're going to turn out very nicely I have my second cup of hot coffee this morning and it's a overcast, very fallish day here in California. So that's always my favorite. Now, if it would rain, it would be the perfect day. One coat is almost covering completely. And then I'm gonna go outside and see if I can find any bit of foliage outside to bring in for fall. I am not purchasing anything new for fall. I am in the middle of saving for the kitchen makeover. When I get into the savings mode, I can buckle down pretty good. That's my goal. And I have a certain number in my head in my savings account before I start anything. I'm thrifting my fall decor and then we are going to decorate for fall. Super excited about the new little piece I have for the entryway makeover. I did want this piece in here in the first place, but I was too tired to paint it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? After painting all the walls and the closet, I was like, forget it. I'll just use what I have that is already finished. I do love it in here. Oops, got a little black on my robe. That's okay. This is a pottery barn robe and I paid like $1.25 for this robe or $1.75 at the junky thrift store. We're almost done with the second coat and that chip that I showed you guys earlier on this horse head covered up nicely. You'll never know it's chipped. What do you guys think? Do you guys like them black? I think against all the green and blue books with a touch of black in the books, I think it's going to be really nice. Painting the bookshelf feather down was perfect. It flows and it makes the whole entryway bright. I feel like I like this makeover better than the original one that I did. And I am adding Vivian's little gallery wall and it's absolutely perfect. It's really beautiful in person as well. I am doing just touches of fall. Nothing expensive. I think the only thing I purchased new was this little chipmunk, and I paid $6.99 for him. Everything else is from my sister's yard sale or out in my yard. And this little decorate with me was so fun to put together, and I love everything in this entryway. Every time I am filming, Smokey always comes to inspect and I felt like this entryway needed some texture. So I brought in some blue thrifted pillows, some beautiful black horse head bookends, cute little cottages for fall. And I love the blue pillows at the bottom of the bookshelf. They add the texture and they bring out the blue ticking stripe in the cubes on the opposite wall. I love these black books 
and everything I brought in here is thrifted. Let me know if you're using the decor you already have or if you're purchasing new fall decor. We did put Smokey up here because he loves to be up high, but he did not want to come down, but we were also afraid the basket was going to topple off if he tried to jump. So Violet was just standing nearby and we finally lured him down and he went and found his little spot and went to sleep. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're enjoying this lovely fall and autumn that is upon us. Let me know which item is your favorite and let me know if you guys like the little white cottagey bookshelf that I put in here. This picture and all the thrifted decor that we found for this wonderful fall decorate with me. Don't forget to go into my description and check out Valerie's channel. You're going to absolutely love her channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.